there are always things that you want to research and actually sort of get better information on. The, one of the difficulties is you don't have time to do them. You're on, you're on the treadmill, okay? So the project gets shoved to the side, and yet, if you have a program like this, you can actually sort of say, well, hang on, for 8,000 a year, I can get somebody in and I can get that project done. The employment-based program offers that opportunity to employ a researcher on site with the expertise to, to meet those needs. And in doing so, it really opens up new avenues of research for them. Certainly, it's, it's much more than just financial reward. For us, it's a great way to recruit um, staff, but it's also a great way to engage in collaborative-based research programs. So we get the expertise, we get the ideas, we get the knowledge from uh, collaborators in the university. Industry has some very interesting problems to solve that sometimes academics don't understand. Um, and so it gives them an opportunity to get involved in something like this too. We always try and publish as much information as we can on a project. Um, it's good for the, the staff members that are involved with it, but it's also good for us in terms of increasing our profile in the scientific community. The IRC programs has a significant impact on the whole research agenda for ourselves. We can have a focused, almost research team working with uh, institutions, allowing us then to work with them to go for other types of funding under H2020. We welcome applications from any industry or academic discipline, such as financial services, biotech, engineering, food sciences, IT, and the arts. I, f I suppose it's been empowering for us as an organisation, as well as Fergus as an artist. It's somebody who's outside your kind of day-to-day, -day who has just, it can give you this kind of added perspective. Reflecting on my work in an academic environment is, it's like a new context. And I hope I can offer some fresh perspective there, but also I'm expecting to be challenged. You're open to more advice from other people, so I have great support from my academic supervisor over there and also my uh, employment mentor here. It's brilliant to have a fresh eyes to look at things, give you a new outlook. It's much better to be actually on site, you know, from that direct involvement. I think that uh, we have a lot of informal chats about how things are going. And then as well, you know, you're working alongside some um, very experienced and talented uh, people here at um, FAC um, and it's great to be able to, you know, to learn from them and get advice from them and that can be applied you know, in your work and in your research. We're future proofing these employees. If the postgraduate degree helps them take a broader perspective and to learn how to teach themselves to solve problems that may come up that they're not expecting. They get exposure to real life issues and how to address them. Uh, from within a research setting, so they kind of have the best of both worlds. So there's a benefit to the student, there's a benefit to the employer, and there's a benefit for Irish industry that they're getting high quality people. For any employment partners, academic supervisors or researchers interested in engaging on this programme, check out the Irish Research Council website.